in today's video we would explore as to how to convert this logic into a java program by doing so we would have also written the program to add two numbers without using any arithmetic operator so just let's do it let me begin by getting the adder circuit back on the screen i would also love to have the four steps of my logic and if you notice the first step of the logic as well as the first part of the circuit both mean the same that i am supposed to perform the xor operation between the input 1 and the input 2 and i am supposed to obtain the sum but how do we do that in programming this is the way that i would do the xor between the input 1 and the input 2 and i am going to obtain the sum let me tell you this is the symbol to use the xor operation in a programming language similarly the second step of the logic and the second part of the circuit both mean the same that i am supposed to and the input 1 and the input 2 and obtain the carry and in a programming language this is the way we do it that i would and the input 1 and the input 2 and i'm going to obtain the carry but through the previous video you have understood that though this simulates an adder but there is a limitation to this that it can add only one bit numbers it cannot add lengthy numbers and that is a reason that we have the next two steps of the logic the third and the fourth steps would enable this to not just add one bit numbers but to add even longer numbers so i apply the third step wherein it tells that i am again supposed to xor the input 1 and input 2 and temporarily keep it in input 1 and not just that i will also have to shift my carry and that is the next step that i would left shift the carry by one position and i am going to consider that as my input 2 i have converted whatever is being told in this logic into a programming code however if you recollect that in the previous video we have applied these four steps multiple times i need to simulate that as well here that i need to apply these steps multiple times and that is the purpose why we have loops in a programming language. i can be using either a for loop or a while loop or a do while loop or in case of java i can even be using a for each loop but for the time being i would just be making use of a simple while loop in order to execute this multiple times i would enclose it within the while and how long should it proceed it has to proceed as long as input 2 is not equal to 0 If I would execute this multiple times then as noticed in the previous video we would be getting the added results. Well, let me get my complete program on the screen. As you can see in the program there are two inputs input 1 and input 2 followed by two more variables sum and carry. And then there is this while loop present. And also at the end of the program I am printing the added result when i'll execute it this is the output well this program works this logic works not just for the inputs 5 and 3 i can have any input if in case i change my input 1 to 42 and input 2 to 23 and then if i'll perform the execution this is the output in other words we have been successful in adding two numbers without using any arithmetic operator that was precisely the program that is asked so frequently in the technical interview questions and i'm sure you have thoroughly understood as to how we can achieve it in my next video you would understand as to how we can perform subtraction without using any arithmetic operator keep watching the video keep gaining knowledge